So first order versus higher order mapping. First order mapping transforms each emitted value and emits the result. So something like this. We get an emitted value um, into x, we multiply it by 2, and we get out the result. Higher order mapping transforms each emitted item into another observable. So here we're taking an ID, so we're getting a stream with, uh, that's going to be providing us an ID, and we're transforming that using the HTTP GET to go retrieve more data, which is going to give us back another observable. So that's the key difference between first order and higher order mapping. Let's dive into that a little bit more, starting with mapping, which is first order. No, not, not that first order. Um, so when we issue an HTTP GET request to get some data from a server, we might end up with something like this on the left, where we're getting a data property with our array of data. But what we really want is just the array of data. It makes it easier to bind to and to work with. So we can use a map for that. We're going to um, use an HTTP GET to get the data, and then just um, map the response we're getting, which is the data on the left there. And we only want the data properties values, which is our array. Another example of map, say we're using um, HTTP GET request to get one single product. We want to add a property to that product. So we can use map for that as well. We're getting the data. Uh, with an HTTP GET, and then we're mapping our product into a copy of the product using um, the spread operator, and then adding the additional property. So we make a copy of it to ensure um, that our original product is, uh, remains immutable. And then we use as product to ensure that what comes out of our stream is uh, an observable product. One last example of how to use the map. Here again, we have our product on the left that we've retrieved, and we want to map it to a string for display on the top of the page. So how do we do that? We can take our stream um, that contained our product, and we can pipe it through a simple operation to convert it to a string using the ternary operator. If you like this video, please like and subscribe.